Hi, I'm Rebecca Moko. Welcome to my channel or back to my channel. Today is going to be a little story about my situation ship that I had before my current boyfriend. I, my boyfriend I have now is my first ever boyfriend that I've ever had. It's the first person I've ever called my boyfriend, the first real healthy relationship I've ever had. But before him, I was in a shitty situation ship, a shitty situation ship. <laughs> for over a year, a year and a half. And I don't even know why it lasted so long. I do feel like it's because I had never had that before, like a relationship or anything, or someone that wanted me. And I thought that this person wanted me. And so I stayed and I tried to make it work. I tried over and over again until literally I was just so done. Like I was so, over it I felt so drained I cried all the time I literally this person I met on a dating app and we I was 17 and he was 21 at, at the time and I didn't care about like age difference that's like what four years <laughs> that's like not a big deal and I wasn't that far away from being 18 so I told him that I was 17, so I didn't lie. I know you have to be 18 to be on there, so I lied about it on the app. But to the people I was talking to, I would always say that I was 17 and I would let them know. So I started off with that and he didn't want to see me until I was 18. Didn't want to see me, okay. He felt uncomfortable about like telling people because I was 17 at the time, even though I was almost 18 and he was 21. So, whatever. Anyways, he made me feel like, you know, we were going to hang out all the time as soon as I did turn 18 and that we were going to tell people and all that. But I, I ended up telling my parents before I even turned 18 because I can't keep a secret from them. <laughs> Not always, but it was just... I did and I barely ever even saw him. I literally, the first time I ever saw him, I shouldn't have. It was like a bad, bad thing. The first time I ever met him in person. And I can't even, mm -mm, just know. I just should have never even continued it. Even from the beginning when it was first making me sad, I should have just cut it off but anyways we kept talking he drank a lot like all the time this boy was probably depressed himself anyways he was a drinker and I told him I loved him I don't know why I just felt like I did and I wanted to and I told him I loved him and he never did and he got weird about it and he made me feel bad for saying that he made me feel bad for wanting to hang out with him, for wanting him to come to my graduation party. If you're talking to someone for that long and you're with someone, they should go to your graduation party. They should be by your side for important events throughout your life. No matter what, they should be there. Like, that's the, that should have made me get rid of him. <laughs> but, ugh. Anyways, he, I met his parents literally a year after talking. That should have been a red flag, wasn't <laughs> for me at the time. I was still trying to force it and force myself to be like, oh, it's going to happen or we're going to actually be in a relationship. He's going to actually want me. No, he kept saying things like he wanted to try this, he wanted to try that. I'm not going to out him on here, but he literally just kept using one excuse after the other of not like officially making it so we're actually dating and boyfriend and girlfriend and blah 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 and hanging out and he literally met my family once once out of the year and a half that's so dumb that's the dumbest shit ever never do that <laughs> and the literally when he ended it for like the final time we've ended it like a couple times throughout this like towards a year we started like going on and off and then the final time i was just so over i was so done i didn't even cry because i already had cried so much from the year and a half of talking to each other that i 
didn't have anything left in me. I, didn't, I was just like glad it was over, glad that it was over with, done. A couple months later, I got the dating app again because I wanted to start new, I wanted to start fresh. And I met my current boyfriend and this bitch started coming back. He started realizing he messed up. He started saying that he went out with another girl, which just no screw you for that. And he wanted back. And I was like, fuck you, no. I, that was the, one of the worst things ever that I had ever gone through. Like it drained me. I cried on and off for months, for a year and a half. And I let that happen to me. I shouldn't have. And I am in like the healthiest relationship. I mean, every relationship has its flaws and isn't like 100% perfect. But I'm like in the best situation now. I've lived with my boyfriend that I currently have. He says I love you back. He said it back the night I told him. I said it to him first. And he's literally my person. Like the person that I want to do everything with. The person that I just want to do life with. He is just my rock. And I will never want to go back and I will never want another situation like that for me, for anyone. I get it. So, <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what else you guys want to see from me, and I will see you in my next video.